Following the running of the 10 races on Saturday, December 17, 2022, there is only one headline, devastating Dane Dawkins. The leading rider started the day one win ahead of Anthony Thomas in the champion jockey race. When the day ended, Dawkins was four wins in front of Thomas. Dawkins rode a four-timer, while Thomas had a solitary success on the day. The first to strike was Dawkins on the Gary Subrati Foreigner Cistern Treasure in the third race. Dawkins was patient on the two-year-old. As they come slipping past the 516th about to turn for home, is that a fact in control, Omar Walker? And is that a fact turn for home at the top of the lane? Fly Blue Jet now asked to kick in, running glory left back on the rail. Cistern Treasure in the purple now asked to make ground on the outside, but is that a fact is shaken up by Walker? There goes the right-hand stick. A furlong to run in the die job sprint, can they catch? Is that a fact? Walker changing the stick neatly to the left hand, asking for everything. Sister in treasure now beginning to close up along with Fly Blue Jet. Is that a fact? Running on the spot here is Sister in treasure. It's tight between them. Fly Blue Jet races next ahead of Duracell. Rejected Raja. Running glory. Thomas' response was quick. He guided three-year-old Baby-like, going to the lead and then fighting on strong in the straight. Baby like skipping away about four lengths in front of GT Boy, hustled up for more, also under a drive, that is Anchorman, salute the deputy, comes running on in great way, they're at the top of the lane, Baby like being tackled on the outside by GT Boy, Baby like in front at the top of the lane, but GT Boy not going anywhere, Baby like a furlong and a half to travel, just the leader from GT Boy, Great Wayne is right against the rail, also coming whack for more, that looks to be Anchorman, but Baby like kick once again, GT Boy not quitting, it's Baby like hanging on tough, Baby like begins to find more, and Baby like and begins to find enough for Anthony Thomas and a baby like going on to win by about four lengths. GT Boy second, then comes Don Vincenzo running on for four. That's Spice Ben Liz. After the Thomas win on baby like, it was time for the devastation of Dane Dawkins. The young man rode another patient race atop three year old Northern Lady for conditioner Patrick Lynch for win number two on the day. In the eighth race, Dawkins exuded confidence when guiding all for love to victory for trainer Gary Subrati. In this trophy race, Dawkins displayed his now well-developed timing skills. Yet, more was to come from devastating Dane. In the ninth, he was aboard the 23 to 1 chance Prince Marshall for trainer, owner, and breeder Fitzroy Gillespie. Prince Marshall could not go with the leaders, staying in mid-pack most of the way. The surge came in the straight, and in doing so, Dawkins lost his whip and had to rely on hands and reins alone. Let us watch the young man at work. As the field turned for home, they're at the top of the lane, a quarter of a mile to run, blue final in the center. Here is Positive ID now kicking it on the outside. Curlin's affair is down against the rail. Perfect Brew is toward the outside with Prince Marshall, but it is Positive ID inside the final furlong who holds the lead. Prince Marshall trying to cut into it, so to Perfect Brew and Curlin's affair, but it is Positive ID. Ray and Lewis, here is Prince Marshall charging up, and Prince Marshall just gets the better of Positive ID. Then Perfect Brew could be Curlin's affair close between Blue Vinyl and the head corner stone. So, with Dawkin having a four-win lead, is the title race over? No. Not by a long shot. There are still five race days to go, and just as how Dawkins can ride four winners on one card, Thomas can do same. We are in for some interesting times, and the racing public loves it.